All right, I'm back. Uh, although I didn't really go anywhere, as far as any of you know. Problem was, I uh, messed up something in my recording software, and everything got messed up. Uh, like I just said, I played against the Raven Man, and I was at 300 and I believe 370. But um, while I was playing, I, no, I was at 308 points, something like that. I was playing with the deck builder, and I built a sly deck, a mono red deck, and it did extremely well. And I managed to get up to 370 coins. And I thought, okay, this worked. Maybe I could record some videos of me playing, you know, just free play. And then I went to record the video for the episode, and it messed up. So the Raven Man, I've already solved this. Uh, I did it in one game, unfortunately. <laughs> I still have the video for it, it just messed up terribly. So let's see if I can get uh, as good a draw as I did. Actually, I ended up having the mulligan down to six, but I still got through it. Anyway, let's play this game again. Let's see what happens. Liliana Vest versus the Raven Man. You return to the ruins of your family's manor. Before long, your skin begins to tingle. You are being watched. Dozens of eyes. Raven eyes. In a flurry of black feathers, a flock of birds merges into the shape of the man who tricked you into cursing your own brother. Liliana versus the Raven Man. Now, I hate to have to spring this joke on you. That's weird. I guess he had to mulligan twice before. Uh, we don't really have as much that we can play, but we got a few cool things, actually. So this one. Cool revival. Okay, we'll keep this hand. <clears throat> nope, not our turn. Anyway, as I was going to say before, and I did say in the previous game, his deck is for the birds. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I completely understand. You don't like it. You might just mute the audio and just, I don't know. Anyway, Drowned Catacomb. Foil. Interesting. A lot of people must foil those cards or something. We got a black cat. Let's play the black cat. And pass turn. We're actually not getting as good a game as last time. Okay, third land. Carrion Crow. All right. Shamling Ghoul, that's a good one. Let's play... Yeah, let's play the... Butcher Ghoul. And let's cast Bone Splitters and get rid of the Crow. And make them discard a card, of course. They lose an island. Interesting. At random, though, so I guess it's going to happen. Swing out... I can't. <laughs> Has Undying. Yes, that's going to be an interesting card. Uh, Nether Horror. Interesting. It's not a zombie, though, so we might be able to just kill it. We shall see. Or we'll at least block with our 1-1, one -one, turn it into a 2-2. Two -two. Or we'll block with the Shambling Goblin and kill it with that. Also a possibility. And let's put the Shambling Ghoul as well. Past turn. Unsummon. Probably the goblin. Yeah, I would too. I understand completely. I'll block with my 1 1 butcher ghoul. And then my 1 1 becomes a 2 2 because of Undying. And I It's back with a plus one plus one counter. Well can turn, can't block flyers. Can only block flyers, sorry. Not too bad. We're not doing terribly. Fourth land. Let's play let's see, they're mostly tapped out. Let's play Soulless One. It's a pretty good size. And we will swing out. Four. 
Now, even if they swing out with their Nether Horror, we might not necessarily block with our 5-5, because that means they've got something in their hand that we don't want to see. Although, we might be able to just pull back our Nether, our uh, Soulless One using the Gravedigger. We, you know, we have our options open. Unsummon the Soulless One. Or, yeah. Sure. <laughs> then, make us discard two cards. I think we will discard the... Discard the Shambling Goblin and the Strange as it sounds, the Soulless One. Because we can get them back with both of these cards. We take the six. We still have the advantage, though. Let's see if we draw a land or something. Nope. Rise from the Grave, though. It's not too bad. We'll play the Gravedigger and pull back the Soulless One. And we will swing out for four. They know we'd block. They have something in their hands that might be a counter spell. Oh, the land? They still could have a counter spell. Instead, they have a second Nether Horror to play. That's good. I appreciate that. Nether Soulless One. Let's play it. Should be a 6 6. 7 7. That's right, we have the Goblin Great now. I think we have the advantage, so let's press it. Swing out with everything. They double block. You know, things won't go very well for them. That's good. They lose their creatures. We only lose two threes. Two two and a two three. Excellent. And our seven seven is untouched. We have ways to pull it back, and we can bring back their nether horror as a zombie. We played two unsummons, it's unlikely that they'll get another one. So, we are looking very well. Oh, yeah, that's not good for you. Land? Nope. But it's a Butcher Ghoul. We'll play it. This becomes an 8-8, and we swing out for 10. And that's game. That's the way you do it. And Liliana has bested the Raven Man. Not bad. With your victory at hand, the Raven Man disappears just as he arrived, in a flurry of birds. They scatter in every direction, and you unleash every last bit of dark magic against them. The Raven Man survives. You are spent, and the power you wield begins to take a toll. So we didn't get any uh, unlocks from that, but we have 510 coins. Uh, I had no idea that the, the, the uh, battle mode was actually going to be that simple. I didn't think they'd let me build a slide deck, but uh, maybe I'll start. I'll add that to the uh, to the videos. Maybe this Saturday I'll put a, together a quick playthrough of it. We'll see how that works, and I might even start doing the daily duels just to play through it, see what it's like, and uh, I. Once again, I encourage people to try this out for Steam, or you can get it on iPad or iPod. And it's a very fun game. It's free to play. Might as well try it out. And uh, with that, I will leave you to your devices, and uh, hope you're having a wonderful morning, a wonderful afternoon, and or a wonderful evening. I hope tomorrow is even better. Take care, everybody.